Former Masters champion Zach Johnson gave us his checklist on the high pitch shot in Golf Digest. And we asked his coach, Mike Bender, what some of the most common problems are for amateurs when it comes to the pitch shot. He says it's basically two things, making poor contact and coming up short, even when they do make good contact. Now the contact problem, Mike says, has a lot to do with weight distribution. When it comes to hitting a good pitch shot, you need to set the weight on the left side and leave it there throughout the entire swing. That's the only way you're going to hit down on the ball and bottom out in front of it in a textbook manner. What some people do when they try to set their weight on the left side is they just jut out their left hip and think that that means that their weight is over here when it's really not. So again, Mike says you should just set it and forget it. Set up with your, most of your weight, including your upper body, on your left side and then leave it there throughout the swing. Don't make a big weight shift throughout the swing. Just stay right over here. Now when it comes to coming up short, Bender says that that's a lot of times a result of people being afraid to hinge and re-hinge their wrists throughout the pitching swing. The only way you're going to create speed and distance on a pitch is if you give yourself some wrist hinge. Now some people think they do this by hinging on the backswing and then they just sort of dump the club into the ground behind it, losing all the speed coming through. So you have to make sure that you not only hinge on the backswing, but also going through. Just be careful not to scoop rather than hinge. Here's an easy way to tell if you're scooping rather than hinging. With a hinge, your right palm will face behind you at the end of the swing. With a scoop, your right palm and the club face will face up toward the sky as you come through. Try these things and you will hit better pitch shots each time.